Hi there, my name is Mark Price and you're looking at a few clips from a zombie film I directed called Colin, which used a lot of household makeup effects and was made for a very small amount of money. Now, the infected adults in Charlie Higson's The Enemy series aren't really zombies. Uh, fans and characters from the series called them sickos. And the key to playing an effective sicko is as much to do with body language as it is with makeup effects. Now, try to keep your movements fast and erratic. Lots of snarling and frothing at the mouth would be good and scary. A liquid latex can be used to create wounds and blisters. I get a thin layer and dab it onto the skin. It comes out white, but when it dries it will go clear. I keep pressing it down to let more air in. That should help it dry a little bit faster. And when the latex is dry, you can dab even more on top and build up the layers to make an even deeper wound, get nasty flaps of skin. You can wait for it to dry or use a hairdryer, but be careful not to burn any poor volunteer playing sickos in your trailer. Now our actor here is quite hairy, so it's a little bit painful for him, but peel back the dry latex and it should look like broken skin. Use some thick pus or another product called Yellow Bruise Gel to cover the dry latex. It should make it nice and slimy. Then take some makeup that's called Congealed or Thick Blood and mix it in with the pus to create a proper broken skin look. Tuck it right inside and underneath the broken skin. Then use some fake blood with a watery consistency to make the wound look fresh. To do the little boils, take a product called Tuplast and pour a dollop on your finger. Now let it settle a bit in the air and roll it into an untidy ball. Now using some spirit gum, you can safely dab a little onto the skin. Then take your boil and place it onto the spirit gum, pressing down for about 10 to 15 seconds. Now once it's fixed to the skin, you can remold the boil, making it a little rough around the edges. Nip the sides into the skin so it looks like it's growing out of the body. Then take some more thick pus and using a Q-tip, dab some on the surface of the boil to make it look a bit slimy and wet. Now you can buy fake blood from the same makeup store which sells the Tuplast and the thick pus, but it can be expensive and is pretty easy to make yourself. If you take some golden syrup, squeeze it into a bowl, get some hot water and mix it to get the consistency just right. It should be thinner than golden syrup, but not as fluid as water. If you're looking for something in between. Then take some red food coloring and slowly mix it in. If you use too much, it's a little bit tricky to go back, so use a bit at a time. If it's too pink, you can heat up some coffee, make it nice, dark and strong, then pour it in a bit at a time to take the edge off that pink. Now a tiny splash of food coloring should make it a bit darker. We really like to use dark blood here. Uh, check it out on your skin just to see how it looks, uh, but be careful, this will stain. Do not get it on clothes you want to keep and stay away from the sofa, carpet or anything that will stain. So, to recap, for making your own fake blood you need golden syrup, hot water, red food colouring and blue food colouring. To make boils you need two plast, spirit gum and thick pus. To make wounds or broken skin you need liquid latex, thick pus and fake blood. So good luck, be safe and have a lot of fun.